What is shaken, Internet? This assault's bringing you the How to Tank for Dummies Primordius LFR Guide. Primordius is the eighth boss in the Throne of Thunder raid instance, and the second boss for the third quarter LFR instance named Halls of the Flesh Shaper. For those of you in queue or fighting trash, a quick synopsis. Single phase fight, switch tanks at about seven stacks of malformed blood, kill bloods when you're not tanking, and slowly drag Primordius around the room in a big circle. Okay, let's start on the real guide for dummies. First up is the trash. The trash is pretty much a gauntlet phase. What you want to do is you want to run past all the little oozes doing as much AoE as possible, and when you get to the big oozes, then you can start hitting them and wait until you can kill them. Once the big oozes, I believe they're called malformed, uh, once you kill those, you can move on to the next one. But you continue will, you will continue to have um, more of the little oozes spawn over and over and over again. So basically, run to the big ooze, kill them, and then move on to the next big ooze. Once you get to the final chamber that Primordius is in, what you want to do is you want to clear the entire room to kill the trash before you pull the boss. The boss will uh, teleport around the room to random locations. I'm not sure if they're random or predetermined, but either way, he'll teleport back and forth around the room, and whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and pull him from wherever he is at the time, but you want to clear the room first. I'm not sure if pulling the boss early will clear the room for you, but I assume not. So go ahead and clear all of the ads out before you pull Primordius out of his room. Now for Primordius himself. This is actually a very simple fight overall, but still has its moments. The first thing I'm going to explain is about the pattern you should move the boss. It seems the general strategy that has the most success is kiting the boss around the room in a big circle. Doing so will keep the ads at bay for a little bit longer. We'll explain them in a bit. The main goal while tanking the boss is try to keep him away from all the little blood ads, since if they reach the boss, he'll get stronger and start doing more things. Moving in a circle around the room also allows healers and ranged DPS to stay in the middle and not move so much. Sucks for your melee guys, but who really cares about them? Am I right? Uh, additionally, if there are any purple pools on the ground, they will slowly move towards the boss. While you're moving around in this circle, you want to keep him away from those purple, move, purple pools, and I'll explain why later. Okay, let's talk some moves. The boss has two basic moves that he will continuously cast throughout the fight. First up is Primordial Strike. This is a cone attack in front of the boss that hits pretty hard, so you want to be sure that you've got your active defenses up for this. Shuffle, Savage Defense, Shield of the Righteous, whatever warriors have, etc. This of course means that you should be facing the boss away from the rest of the raid. Hopefully if you've made it to this point, you understand that much. Malformed Blood is a stacking DOT Primordius will apply to the tank, which requires a tank swap at around 7 or 8 stacks. It, become, it has a bonus buff, though, as more of these stacks allow you to do bonus damage to the adds. We'll explain the adds in a moment, but basically, this means that whenever you're not tanking, you should be using this buff slash debuff to be killing the adds as much as possible. These are the only moves that Primordius will always have. Pretty simple, right? Wrong. Well, sort of. Primordius has a resource bar that fills up over time. If any of the adds touch him, he'll absorb them and increase that bar even faster. Whenever the bar fills up to 100%, Primordius gains a new move and gets a 10% damage buff. Obviously, this is a bad thing, so we don't want him absorbing those bloods, hence the circle pattern I described before. Regardless of your efforts, he will be getting the stacks eventually just from the passive resource growth and he'll randomly get one of six moves every time. Here's a quick rundown of the six moves. Ventral Sax is a simple, raid-wide damage spell that will continue to hurt everyone. Can't, you can't do anything about it, so don't even worry about it. Acidic Spines is an annoying move that hits random raid members and hurts everyone close to them. Simply don't stand close to other people if you can avoid it, and as a tank, this really shouldn't be hard because if anyone's close to you, they're going to be hit by the Cone Primordial Strike and die anyway. Volatile Pathogen, Volatile, Volatile Pathogen, I think I'm saying that right, again targets random raid members and gives them a rough DOT. Won't target tanks, so don't care much. Um, erupting Pustules, ugh, that just sounds awful. That's a terrible move name. Either way, that one throws random projectiles around that do damage if they hit you. Try to avoid these if you can, uh, and don't stand where the things are landing, but you shouldn't worry about them too much because they don't really do too much damage in LFR. Not to tanks, anyway. Um, let's see... Okay, so four moves down, and so far we really don't care about any of them. Here's the other two that we kind of do care about. 
Metabolic Boost buffs Primordius' attack speed by 50% and reduces the cooldown on all his other moves. This means he's basically going to be hitching, hitting you a lot more. Active defense are a must here, and minor cooldowns should be on standby, especially when you start getting higher stacks of malformed blood, and you're still getting hit by more and more primordial strikes. Okay, Caustic Gas is an AoE that the boss can gain that does damage to everyone in a large radius, split amongst everyone it hits. Since it's split, you want it to hit more people, so if the boss does happen to get caustic gas and start using it, you might want to tighten your circle pattern so that the AoE hits the group of people standing in the middle of the room. Hopefully your healers on range DPS are just standing in the middle of the room and doing damage to all the adds in the boss from there. So you can just move it slightly towards the middle of the room and catch them in the caustic gas, thus everyone gets less damage. So this might sound like a lot of abilities, but there's a lucky surprise for us. Primordius can only have three of these moves at any given time. Once he gains a fourth move, he'll actually forget the first one, kind of like a Pokemon. Nah, you like that one? Uh, since there's really only two moves that concern tanks, that just makes our lives a little bit easier. Okay, now that the main boss is out of the way, let me explain something. Once you start hitting Primordius, you'll quickly realize that your fisticuffs aren't really hurting him very much. Primordius has a super damage reducing buff that makes him basically unkillable at a normal pace. So what do we do? The answer is simple. Kill the adds. The living fluid adds that spawn throughout the fight slowly walk towards the boss, and as explained, if they reach him, will help towards buffing him up. There's a million of these things, so you can't kill all of them, and you're not going to be able to stop them all from getting to the boss. But if you kill the adds before they reach the boss, they will drop a little pool. Without getting into too much detail, if a player stands in one of these pools, they will get a buff to some stats, and the pool will disappear. This isn't quite enough to break through Primordius' defenses, though, but wait, there's more! If you get five of these buffs by standing in five pools, you will get a mutated blood buff, giving you bonuses to stats and other things, as well as letting you do full damage to the boss. There's a catch, though. If you get this mutated blood buff and step in another pool, you'll get a big debuff to your stats. I haven't confirmed if this is the case in LFR or not because it's kind of crazy, but suffice it to say you don't want to get the mutated blood buff and then and then keep stepping in the pools. Once you get the mutated blood buff, you don't want to worry about the pools anymore. The mutation uh, lasts about two minutes, so during that time you'll want to wail on the boss, but as a tank you'll still have that other buff that gives you bonus damage to the adds, so it's probably a better expenditure of your time to kill more bloods while you have that buff so that the DPS players can get the buff to kill the boss faster. If you can get the buff though, when you're tanking the boss, you'll be able to do a lot more damage. There's another catch though. These pools that are dropped by the ads are not always beneficial. You'll see sometimes they drop red pools, which is the mutated blood buff, and if, they see, if you see any purple pools, you don't want to stand in them, as they are bad and will hurt you a lot. What's worse is that these little purple pools will move towards the boss slowly, and if they reach him, we'll heal him and pump up his resource bar very heavily. If you do the circle kiting, this really shouldn't ever be an issue because they move really slowly. If you're tanking the boss and see a purple pool, steer clear of it. Avoid it at all costs. And so that's the fight. You won't really be doing much to Primordius without the mutated blood buff, but it shouldn't matter too much. Let's do a quick recap. First, kite the boss in a big circle. Second, keep him faced away from the raid. Duh. Third, swap tanks at seven or maybe eight stacks of malformed blood. Or, whenever your malformed blood runs off, just taunt off the other tank. It's not a big deal. Fourth, if you're not tanking, go kill adds since you do bonus damage to them. Fifth, make sure the boss doesn't touch purple pools, and neither should you. Sixth-ish. Watch for the metabolic boost for cooldowns, and if he starts dropping AoEs, get a bit closer to the middle, but not that much. You can pretty much ignore 6 if you really don't care. Metabolic boost can do some more damage, and you might want to use cooldowns, but don't worry about it. Basically, run around in a circle, keep him away from the adds, and swap tanks at 7 or 8 stacks. How about that? That's as simple as I can make it. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed this guide for dummies. Please like, favorite, share, subscribe, and, as always, you keep it salty, Internet.